And new tonight, a mom is heartbroken and frustrated after she says her child was not buried properly at a cemetery in Pine Bluff. And now she wants answers from management. Our Hunter Hoagland reports from Memorial Park Cemetery. Directly behind me is where Justin Lunsford is buried. His mom tells me it's been a hard few years after delivering him as a stillborn. She says the healing process has been made near impossible after finding out he's buried just inches below the surface. Bad thing about him every day. Wondering what he'd be like, what him and his brother look like. Walking to her son's grave <laughs> with flowers and a ruler in hand. You can feel the hardness underneath. Like it's not rocks. Two inches below the dirt at Memorial Park Cemetery, her son's casket. His headstone is literally sitting on top of his casket. Deborah Dixon's son was laid to rest here in June of 2017. She says a year ago when cemetery management placed his headstone, she could see the wood of the casket he was buried in. Wondering if we have all these heavy rains, if he's going to be just out in the open. They did it. It was on their end. They should have done properly. Dixon says it's been months of battling with management only to come up short. Our cameras were rolling when the family tried talking with them again today. If you're recording me, I don't got a camera. But I have no problem sticking this into the ground right here to show you that this hits his casket. The manager refused to comment and asked us to leave. Now this mom says all she wants is for her son to be given the respect he deserves so she can find healing and her baby Justin can rest in peace. I want my son buried right. Though management here at Memorial Park Cemetery refused to comment on the regulations, I did reach out to a few other groundskeepers at other grave sites who tell me anything shallower than 18 inches is not deep enough. In Pine Bluff tonight, I'm Hunter Hoagland. Back to you.